All right, guys. Today's video, let's go over my uh, CPU mining, little CPU mining update, uh, what I'm doing, where I'm at, am I buying anything, and, uh, and uh, just let you know what's going on. Uh, before we do that, it is for April, and we have a sea of red, but the prices are still really decent on Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two kings. So I always look at that and go, oh, okay, we're good. Let's keep going. Litecoin is still low at 124. I want to see that hit 400, at least 400. Yeah. All right, let's get going. So I have been mining Pulsar and I have been mining uh, Raptorium, uh, mainly just to learn, because again, I don't know much about this stuff. And I kind of jumped into it and I said, let me try this CPU mining. I kind of like like it for a few reasons. CPU, you know, the hardware's a little bit cheaper than buying a GPU, power management, heat management, and just availability most times of getting you know, the equipment you need. Right now, it's not too bad. Uh, GPUs are still above MSRP. I've been watching for some certain GPUs, and I don't know what to get. You know, there's A2000s. It's hard to get those. They're still about 700 bucks or so, and they're out of stock. Um, the non-LHR cards are out there, the Founders Editions. You just got to, I know, it's hard to score on those and get those as well. I just got a little tired of always looking and I just said, I'll just wait. So in, in the meantime, I started to look more at CPU stuff. Is this worth it? And I don't want to buy new because, again, you're talking 3,900X, uh, 500 or 600 bucks, 3,950, even more, uh, 5,900s as well. 5,950s are expensive. I couldn't do it, but I just was eyeballing eBay thinking maybe some people are moving, you know, selling rigs or selling stuff. And there are. It's amazing. So. Having just sold some Disney stock, because Disney kind of went a little bit crazy with some of their statements. Says, I'm out of Disney, plus they stopped paying a dividend for the past year. And I'm all about dividend paying stocks, equity stocks. And I've owned Disney, and I like their stock certificate they get. They nice little character. It's art. It's kind of art to me. So I have one of those. My kids have one. But the rest of my shares, I dumped them. And with that money, I went out uh, last night, and I went on eBay, and I went and... Um, Basically, found a, a open box 3900X with the with the uh, Wraith cooler, and uh, I learned how to bid on eBay. And I, I'll I'll give you my secret in a second. It was it was uh, say two. I was it was an auction for seven days, right? I think it was like 280, and then it was inching up a little bit. And you never nickel and dime. You never just jump up five bucks, five bucks when you bid. You say, okay, I see this Wraith cooler 3900X. CPU Ryzen, right? I know what it costs. It was just an open box. It wasn't even installed. And I said, geez, that's like at least 500 bucks. Uh, what am I What am I willing to pay? What am I happy with? So when you bid on eBay, this is the trick. So say the auction is currently at 250, the bid. Don't go 255. You're just going to be sitting there trying to beat a bot or you're going to beat someone else just going, hey, 260. It's just, it's pointless. Set your price man up about it and just go, all right, I'm going to say 400. I'm happy spending 400 bucks. You go in and say, set your bid 400, even though the current bid is 250. doesn't mean you're, you're going to adjust that bid up to 400. It is just going to outbid the lowest bid right now. So it goes to 255. So what I noticed, I did that last night. I said 400, boom. So it jumped up to 260. And I went, what? I was outbid right away because someone else said their max price, right? And but then my my um, my uh, my bid came back and outbid there, so it just drove it up. You know, it's gonna. That's why you set your max four hundred. It's not gonna go over that, so you don't freak out. And if it does, so what? You don't want to buy it then. You don't want to spend more if some guy has it set to five hundred. So I set it to four hundred. I ended up winning the auction uh, for three twenty five. So even though I set my max bid on eBay for 400, I won the auction at 325 because no one else had a max bid higher than that or came back at the last minute. Uh, thing was shipped out right away. I paid. Uh, I always check the feedback review of the seller, their location, if it's U.S. and uh, shipping and all that crap. You got to pay shipping and tax, all that bull crap. But anyway, I got the 3900X open box, and I also bought a 3950X. And I did the same thing, uh, set my bid price while I'm happy to spend on it, knowing that I also have to buy a cooler as well. 
And uh, so I got a 3950. I think that was 425. I got that for it. So not terrible. Cheaper than buying a new. And this one is a used one. Uh, yeah, there's always risk with that. But, you know, with eBay, if something does go wrong, you do usually have buyer protection. But I usually have, I typically have never had any issues buying from uh, eBay. Um, selling on eBay is another story, but uh, buying, no problem. So with that, too, I also have a um, dual fan. I was going to get a liquid cold fan. And the beauty of being on some of these discords is you learn a lot from people. I know I know, I know, I know, I, I, I know enough to know that I don't know a lot of things. You don't know what you don't know. And so I'm always kind of just monitoring discords and different groups, even for certain coins. And they kind of give you tips, ask questions. And people are more than generous in this community to help. And that's the beauty of the crypto community, the mining community, especially. It's almost like the aviation community is everyone is very helpful, very friendly. And it's kind of a nice thing. You can all learn together and, uh, just do better because everyone wants everyone to succeed. I do. And I just put these out for myself and hoping that people will come back and say, no, dude, you made a video. You're totally wrong. Here's what you want to do. And I had a couple of those and I learned. I said, great. Tell me. And I fixed it. Boom. Man, that's great knowledge. And uh, you always just get better. You always keep improving yourself. Any dude that comes out and says there's an expert. Now, nah, people make mistakes and you just got to appreciate the fact that people are putting out some information. And I always say, do your own, do your own research doubt but verify right and uh, use your brain use your critical thinking skills it, a lot of the stuff is on youtube it's just you know splatter on the wall and it's for you to take as entertainment and digest what you want to give maybe give you an idea to go research something on your own and try something and that's what i did with the pulsar coin i saw other people were doing it all right let me go try this you know no guts no glory and i liked it i liked the raptorium even though the prices are going down i just not going to worry about the fiat price right now. I just want to get the coins. So that's why I bought two more CPUs. And then I went over to Amazon and I found two used X570 MSI motherboards. Uh, the 470 Gaming Max Plus is the ones I usually buy. I couldn't find any. I think they, they stopped making them, I guess. I, don't, I just can't find any. So I figured I'll just buy used from Amazon because Amazon, for all their issues in that, right, they are great at taking returns. Even a GPU they took back, it just took two weeks to get the money because they want to make sure you're not ripping them off when you return a high-end computer item like that. So that's why I bought these two used uh, MSI motherboards for the two chips I'm getting. So my rigs will grow from four 3900Xs and um, uh, two... Ryzen 5s to uh, add those two, uh, that two new ones in the 3900X and the 3950 to give me some more computational power. Yeah, because I just, I think I'm going to switch eventually. I'll keep mining Pulsar, but I want to get the payout, like I said, in Bitcoin or Litecoin. Yeah, I don't mind mining Ethereum, but I'm still just a little concerned with the high gas fees. Last week or two weeks ago, man, the gas fees were incredibly low. They were down in the 50s. And, uh, I met my threshold on ether mine, the mining pool. Man, the payout went right away. I went, what, what, what? Because usually your your uh, mine coins are sitting on uh, sitting on ether mine for a long time. It becomes your wallet because you know I usually set low payout fees. I don't want to spend lots of money just to move my money to uh, my wallet. That's crazy. Let's go look at the wallet. As we made this video, I was making this video right before I started. What I go? What's this payout? And I looked, oh, 90. Ooh, could it be? Could it be? And I looked, and it definitely it was my second staking reward, 90. And here's my first one. So I here I had what? Let's say four under under say 500 ish coins, right? And I still was able to stake 90 POS using the, their POS side of the Pulsar model. And while I'm mining on the POW side, the uh, proof of work, I am also doing the POS. That's a cool model. And then you're doing it from this wallet, which is pretty neat. I like this uh, like this use case. So that came in today. And you can see my total so far. Again, it's not a lot, uh, but it's getting there. I just want to maybe grow this a few more. So we got the um, reward. I got the mining reward. If we go over to the Zerg pool, I love Zerg pool. Uh, we are mining shared for the past three days. And we are on on track to keep making more per day, 109, 115, and this one's on track, definitely to beat what I was getting mining solo and getting those random blocks. Here I did get two, but again, if you take that by two, that would have filled in this day about 90, 90, 90. And uh, I just figured I want to be consistent. 
to help you know stack coins in the wallet and do the POS and get those rewards as well. So I'm just going to do shared mining from now on, hence buying the extra equipment using my Disney stock that I sold to buy the equipment. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. Uh, I do like the shared. It's working great. There's my hash rate, 437.6. I got four 3900Xs and a Ryzen 5 on here. I have a second Ryzen 5, but it's also GPU mining. And I know when I turn that puppy on, the GPU hash rate on one of the cards drops a bit. I, I, I just said I'd rather get the he, he mine the ETH right now because it's profitable. And I'd rather, he has priority. So the GPU has priority in that case. The CPU right now, CPU mining is all speculation. I'm still learning. Still learning daily on what's going on. You can see my unpaid 132 and my total payout. And this is a great, Zerg pool is awesome. And uh, as you know, you can actually get different payouts and different coins. Mine a profitable coin like Pulsar and uh, get paid out in Bitcoin and have that dumped to your Bitcoin wallet if you want. And that's where I may go eventually. I just want to keep stacking up the Pulsar coin. Because again, like Raptorian, Everything is dropping. Everything is dropping. Hat difficulty right here is dropping. Price is dropping. And same with Raptorium. Up, oh, it peaked. Um, price ticked up a little bit there, but so did that difficulty ticked up a little bit there. But there's still a lot of miners on Raptorium. People are still chugging away. I mean, no, no one has really fled it. And uh, compared to Pulsar, which is hovering at like only 1,400, 1,500 miners, you got 32,000, 33,000 miners on Raptorium. I like Raptorium. I like their model. You mine it. Uh, you dump it to your Raptorium wallet, and then I move it up to inode Z to get passive income right here. You know, get not much money, but again, I'm just stacking coins in the event that it does shoot up in a few years or a year. Who knows? You don't know. It might go to zero. I don't know. It's just it's cool to see the use cases of uh, how how the um, CPU model mine, uh, model is working, how the different coin models are working, the POS is not a bad way to make passive income proof of stake. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. And the first proof of stake I've ever done is Redcoin. I had Redcoin, I moved it to my wallet, my QT wallet, and it's been making rewards for the past three or four years now. Uh, will it ever mount anything? I don't know. It's all speculation, right? I love this. This things are working good. The two new rigs coming in that I'll build, I'll slap one to Pulsar and just to keep, keep earning and uh, go from there. Yeah. So uh, that is pretty cool. See, so, yeah, I got the motherboards coming. I got the twin fan cooler coming. Again, I learned that there's a in, an in fan and out fan. It's kind of neat. Let me see how I bring that up. The guy posted, because I always thought for the 3950, you needed to get a liquid cold. And they're at least 100 bucks or 90 bucks. It's like, oh, more money, more money. I just asked the question. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. I said, well, what are you using for the cooling? Because the you know, people are buying 5950s in that, and uh, they got the dual fan model, and it's like 50 bucks. Here we go. This is the push pull fan. There you go, 42 bucks. I can afford that. Yeah, the liquid coal is like 90 bucks, and uh, and somewhere 120. I said, oh my god. And then here you can see the motherboards I bought. Oh, here's my ticker. I can actually save more money. Maybe. Get that, guys. Get the Capital One extension for Chrome and Brave. It gives you information like this where you could possibly save more money at different retail outlets. Because in my experience, on average, Amazon costs a lot more because the uh, vendors have to charge more to cover all the Amazon fees they have to pay. So, yeah. Get that plug in. I'm getting, here's the memory I'm going to use, the uh, CL14 G Skill. I'm just going to put one stick per motherboard on this MSI 550, 570, and that'll take my AM4 3 Series uh, CPUs. Blue blockers, man. I'm going to try these because staring at a computer screen all day, maybe block out some of those rays, save my eyes a little bit. I'm going to give those a shot. If you use these, let me know. We'll go from there. <laughs> uh, here are the drives. I'm going with these drives. These M2 drives that plug right into the motherboard versus the SATA cable and all that. Less cabling, and I don't have a, 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 a Kingston SATA drive hanging from the side of the rig. I just want to have this thing plugged right in, low form factor. You know what I mean? It's all compact, minimalist. You know, you're just going to 
one stick of memory, one of these puppies, no GPU, gonna run headless, use motherboard, basic stuff on here. I don't even need Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have it all plugged in to a router so I don't need Wi-Fi antenna or anything. And uh, low profile uh, fan, cooling solution for the uh, 3950. The 3900 has a Wraith uh, prism cooler. It looks kind of cool if you're into all the flashy stuff which I don't really care for. I just want stuff, not fluff. So that's why I like this, man. This should work. I'm just going to get one, go with it, blam All right, that is all I got. That's my update on CPU mining, where I'm at, what I'm doing. Again, it's I'm still in the dark trying to figure out what's the best approach. I'm stacking coins and uh, maybe start mining other stuff eventually once I get the tuner rig stood up. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Start getting some Bitcoin or Litecoin. All right, guys, thanks for watching another long video. But again, I just like to ramble on about what I'm up to. And uh, please give your input, what you suggest, what you're doing. And uh, yeah, maybe hopefully GPU prices will keep dropping and then next month we'll buy a GPU. I don't know. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching. I'm out. Go forth your great things. I'll talk to you later. Blammo.